Greetings, Japan fans. In today's show, we are going to be looking at leadership alchemy. Maishu, arigatou gozaimasu, and welcome back to the seventh year of the Leadership Japan series. I'm your host in Tokyo, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy, committed to your success. I'm the president of Dale Carnegie Training Japan, the best selling author, Japan Sales Mastery, and Japan Business Mastery. And my new book, Japan Presentations Mastery, will be ready in 2021. We are broadcasting around the world from Minato-ku in the center of Tokyo, the leadership capital of Japan. Now, this podcast brings insights, examples, and experience about leading in Japan. Trust me, it is different here. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We are not being sponsored by Libsyn, but we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Libsyn, unlike many other hosting organizations. Libsyn have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here's the daily podcast lineup on iTunes, Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday, the Presentation Japan Series, every second Tuesday, the Business Touches in No Oshie Show, Wednesday, the Sales Japan Series, Thursdays, the Leadership Japan Series, every second Thursday, the Business Pro Podcast, Fridays, the Japan Business Master Show, Sundays, Japan's top business interviews. Before we get going, today's handy Japanese phrase is unbelievable. Shinji Rarenai. Now, this can be both good and bad. Good news, bad news. If you just want to say it's unbelievable, you just say, Unbelievable. This is episode number 390. 390, my God, we're almost at 400. Woo! Okay, it's Tricky 90, and today we're talking about leadership silk purses from Sow's Ears. The ad on social media said, we are looking for sales A players. I know the guy who put out the ad, and he had recently moved to a new company, a new entrant into Japan, and they were aggressively going after market share here. I was thinking, I would love to be able to recruit A players for sales as well, but I can't. The simple reason is that A players in Japan are seriously expensive. If you're a big company with deep pockets and a highly profitable sector, then this is a no-brainer. Why would you bother with B or C players if you can afford A players? What do you do, though, when you're running a small to medium-sized company in a tough market with thin margins and lots of competitors? Being a leader, able to recruit the best talent, isn't the same requirement as being at the sharp end of the stick where you have to create something out of nothing on a daily basis. We have to take D players and turn them into C players and take C players and turn them into B players. Maybe we can even create the odd A player given enough time and consistency. In theory, this sounds all very plausible and straightforward, good so far, but how do you bring your talent alchemy to the forefront? Leaders are pretty busy. So, who develops these D, C, and B people? You stand to reason that the sales section heads or sales department heads are not sales A players either. So their sales roles modeling is a limiting factor. The leader has to be highly selective where they put their time and effort. Pumping a lot of work into someone to see them walk out the door is heartbreaking, mind-numbing, costly, and depressing stuff. Adjusting expectations is a big factor in leadership. Trying to thread a camel through the eye of a needle takes time. So we cannot expect new people to be producing results anytime soon. Having a really good record of salespeople results is a start. Over time, you can build up averages 
so that you can see what is a reasonable expectation for a certain point in time. I have a spreadsheet that tracks all the salespeople from ground zero. This way, I am comparing salesperson against salesperson quarter by quarter. I know what a first year average revenue result is, and so forth year by year. Knowing this is a big help because I don't load up new people with too much pressure. In fact, it gives me the ability to encourage them. I can tell them I am not expecting them to hit the moon straight out of the gate. The first year is a giant learning curve and I want them to do their best and that will be fine. By taking away the pressure, they can fit into the team, absorb the culture and begin their training. A players are expensive, so bosses want results immediately to justify the big bucks they are paying them. Fair enough. But the rest of us need to tread a different path of patience and encouragement to gradually mould the new people into performers. Find out more. We come back from the break. Today's show is brought to you by our public courses, but we also do custom in-house programs. We do them in Japanese, we do them in English, we do them in our super safe classroom, we do them live online. Today's show is sponsored by, on the 18th of December, in our leadership, professional leadership series, we're looking at planning. On the 22nd of January, also in that professional leadership series, we'll look at manager to leader, what is required. We'll also do stress management on that day. On the 29th of January, in our professional leadership series, we'll look at developing people's potential. Find out more about those programs on our website, enjapan.dalecunny.com, or you can just email me, greg.story at dalecunny.com. If you like learning by watching videos, we have over a thousand for you there at Japan Dale Kenny TV on YouTube. We release three TV shows every week on YouTube. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, that's a premiere. Business Show in Japan comes out Mondays, Fridays with the Japan Business Mastery Show, Saturdays we release Japan's top business interviews. While I interview leaders from SMEs all the way up to the corporate captains of industry on one topic, leading in Japan. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Telebi Show. Get my books, Japan Sales Mastery. That's the Bible for selling in Japan. Japan Business Mastery and both available on Amazon. And my new book, Japan Presentations Mastery, will be ready in 2021. Welcome back. The other thing we need to do is inject ourselves into the mix and work on developing talent. We cannot leave it all to our direct reports. Even though we are super busy, we need to have some regular personal interaction with the new team members and need to keep close tabs on how they are going. We need to create the time to coach them. We cannot be there all the time, but we have to select precise interventions to help them keep moving forward. Maybe we can do 30 minutes early mornings a couple of times a week to move with them as a group or to work with them as a group. We also have to scale for their ability to absorb pressure. Some are robust and others are more delicate flowers. We need to adjust our time expectations, how long it will take to get everyone up to speed to handle the pressure to perform. A players are already forged in the furnace of high performance, so they are application ready. The balance of getting cash in the door every month to pay the bills and being patient with people is a high wire act that leaders have to learn to walk. It is easy to get this wrong and fall to your demise and see the business go backwards or even go down. There is no roadmap here either because every case is different. Every group of individuals is different. You have to play the cards you can afford and not spend any time wishing to be dealt a better hand. The country may be going to hell in a basket, but salespeople are in high demand. When hiring salespeople, I am constantly astonished at the prices other companies will pay for a warm body. Very challenged e-players with no experience are getting offers that make you want to cry. That is the market. We are all going to be constantly faced with this struggle of how to develop people we can afford in an already overheated hiring market that will just get worse. 
The demographics are not on the leader's side here as the lack of young people coming into sales drives up the price. This will become the sales era of the C player with intermittent light showers of B players. Get ready for it, folks. Thank you for joining the Leadership Fan Series. If you found the program useful, then tell your family, friends, and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast. Contact me at greg.story at dalecunny.com. Go to our website, enjapan.dalecunny.com. Until the next episode, take what you thought valuable, put into action, because idea application is what makes winners winners. So be one of them. Remember, I'm your corporate coaching and training guy, committed to your success here in Nippon. Nippon.